Hello, my name is Nancy and I'm a dietitian at County Durham and Darlington NHS Foundation Trust. My name is Helen and I'm also one of the dietitians. One of the things we get most frequently is about fibre. How much fibre should we be eating and how can we get enough into our diet? The current recommendations are for 30 grams a day for both men and women. So practically, what does this mean? So if we're trying to achieve a high fibre breakfast, we can achieve one of the breakfast cereals we have here in front of us. So for example, if you're having oats, you can have wheat biscuits or you can also have a whole wheat cereal in the portion shown in front of us. So what about lunchtime, Nancy? If we want to have a high fibre lunch, what kind of examples can we give? So moving on to lunch, a good thing to have would be a sandwich. Um, there's a few ways you can get fibre into a sandwich. So start off with the bread, um, choosing a whole meal bread rather than white or brown. Um, another good way would be adding in uh, some salad to your sandwich. That's another way to get some fibre in there and maybe having a piece of fruit as well. Yeah, fruit and vegetables is also another really important source of fibre in our diet. Here we can see a number of different fruits and veg in front of us. So it's important that we achieve our five a day. So how can we achieve our five a day, Nancy? You can use chopped fruit in your cereals in the morning. That's a good way to get one portion in. Um, snacking on fruit or carrot sticks or cucumber sticks through the day. Uh, lunchtime, like I was saying, putting some salad into your sandwich, having a piece of fruit, having some fruit with yogurt. Um, and in the evening, um, with your main meal, maybe including um, vegetables with whatever you're having. So we've mentioned the word portion quite a lot. So what is a portion? A portion is basically 80 grams of a fruit. So it depends which fruit you're going for. If you're having a banana, it's one banana. If you're having a larger fruit, for example, a melon, it's one slice of melon. If you're having vegetables such as carrots or peas, it's three heaped tablespoons. Or if it's a salad, it's a small dessert bowl of salad. So incorporating all these different kinds of foods into our diet is a good way of achieving your fibre. While we are increasing our fibre intake, it's really important that we increase our fluid as well. Fluid basically combines with the fibre in our diet to help produce a healthy bowel. So how much fluid do we need to achieve what we, we are recommended, Nancy? The recommendations are six to eight drinks a day, preferably non-caffeinated, non-alcoholic drinks. You can include fruit juice in this, but only 150 mils, which we've measured out here. And that's because of the sugar content. For more information on this, you can visit our website.